Hi, my name is Cynthia Lawson. I'm assistant professor in the School of Design Strategies here at Parsons, and I've also been coordinating the new portfolio initiative for design strategies, which we're now launching within space with Anne Gaines, um, and which we're calling Portfolio Redefined. So I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this initiative that we're piloting this summer with all of the sections of drawing and painting and drawing and design. I started working on this uh, last fall, uh, again specifically for design strategies, and developed um, this initiative in consultation with our leadership as well as presenting to various faculty. This presentation and proposal has been adapted to the interests and needs of the, the summer programs. Portfolio Redefined, uh, first and foremost, is a collection of evidence of a student's work. Um, we want to emphasize that the evidence can be visual and it can also be written, numeric, time-based. Um, most importantly, it includes both process and final product, not necessarily privileging one over the other. The evidence in the portfolio redefined should be framed and contextualized, keeping in mind the learning goals of the courses in which the work was developed so that it becomes a portfolio in which students are reflecting on their learning, seeing the outcomes as how they connect to the learning goals of the various courses that they're enrolled in. There are several roles and um, audiences that these roles play uh, within the initiative. First, of course, there's the student. Um, so the process of compiling, designing, and presenting the evidence of their work will engage students um, much more directly and much more reflectively with their own education. We also have an audience as the institution. Portfolios could facilitate the assessment of how students are progressing through a course or a specific program with regards to the learning goals. And um, moving ahead uh, and looking at Parsons specifically, we're looking at very flexible undergraduate curricula, which we'll be launching in 2012. And that flexibility means that the portfolio could play uh, an important role in how students uh, can cross over between programs. So some existing and past initiatives and design strategies, we launched a course called Portfolio Strategies. A lot of the this proposal uh, draws from that as well as the website I'm putting together with resources captures a lot of the work that has been done there. Courses like the ones that you are enrolled in or teaching have always been considered portfolio building. Um, Parsons wide, there are other kinds of portfolio, sketchbook, or professional practices courses. And then nationally, there's been an interest to shift towards learning, um, and then more recently, e-portfolios. So the proposal is that um, Portfolio Redefined, and that's the, the name we're using for this initiative, uh, will be piloted during this summer, the course that that starts um, in late June with with these both courses, drawing and painting and drawing and design, um, as a mandatory initiative for all faculty and students to take on. Uh, the the syllabus template uh, should already have a paragraph about the initiative, um, and the idea. And the, again, this is a proposal. Faculty perhaps could require a small percentage of their grading for a portfolio deliverable. The, the shift that needs to occur potentially from versions of this class in the past is that in addition to presenting final work, students would also present the portfolio deliverables so that it becomes a very explicit and intentional um, deliverable from the courses. I am currently finishing a website and depending on when you're watching this video will it may be on the website. Um, I just wanted to credit that Robert Rabinovitz has developed many of these materials and I'm also drawing from work that other colleagues uh, and have been doing and conversations I've been having across Parsons and the New School. I'm also proposing that the portfolios be reviewed twice during the course so perhaps the first couple of weeks of the course is really about gathering um, gathering evidence of progress as well as documenting student work and the latter part of the course could focus on how do we then assemble that into a portfolio and, and what are the bits of reflective writing that can be 
encouraged, uh, required, or and, and included in the portfolios. So some of the requirements for design strategies, um, we're seeing this as a required cross-school four-year initiative. Now, if we start with pre-college programs, it could be a five-year or longer initiative um, in which all faculty should be involved. Again, this idea that we want to collect both process and product and always connecting back to the learning goals of the courses in which you're enrolled or teaching, of the areas of study, uh, program, school, division, and even the university. We see portfolio redefined as existing both in print and online, or in print or online, depending on your uh, interests as students and faculty, um, and that it be flexible and modular so that um, students can produce various versions. There may be some versions that have a lot of text for internal academic audiences, whereas a potential employer, internship, or even an application for school may um, extract highlights from those materials. We also see this um, portfolio redefined as a living document of the student work happening in summer intensive studies. So at the end of your courses, we will be collecting the portfolio for each student, and this will quickly start to grow into a portfolio redefined database. So in terms of the learning outcomes, and we've had other workshops about this, it's really asking the question of what do we really want our students to be learning in courses, and to be as granular as possible, and to always connect it with how are you then going to assess that, and how do the learning outcomes become deliverables. So these are some learning outcomes that I've grabbed from other syllabi, from foundation courses at Parsons, for example, understanding of design as a generator, embodiment, and transmitter of specific cultural values, or maybe the third one, um, we believe we want our students to gain the ability to sketch and present ideas and processes visually, and to use drawing as a problem-solving tool across multiple design applications. So the system, and this will the system will vary across sections, but the idea is to really connect student work with its documentation. So the making of the work isn't necessarily always being documented, so we need to be explicit about the documentation. How does the documentation connect with the process? So how are you telling the, um, the story of an idea, or how is an idea evolving through the work? How does the process um, connect with the learning outcomes from the course, and then how can that um, reflection really happen through writing? So how are students potentially developing an artist statement or various um, smaller kinds of writing with the entries in the portfolio? There are several ways that, that um, you can move forward doing this. You could just encourage that students have very well organized files and folders and potentially an Excel spreadsheet in which they're keeping track of everything. You could use online services such as Flickr, which is a free online photo sharing site where students would need to upload images of their student work with tags as keywords so that they can keep track of the learning outcomes in the the, the keywords area of the images or the descriptions. And this could be um, password protected so that it's not necessarily public for everybody to see. Um, we could set up a blog having each post as a project. There could also be an InDesign template if you're interested in students um, working on a something that will be a, a digitally printed at the end or even a, a digital on-screen PDF. Or we could also think about how a journal or a sketchbook could become also this um, this living document. So that's that's the initiative. Um, feel free to to contact me Lawson C at newschool.edu, or also visit uh, the website I've put together that has now quite a bit of resources, which is um, portfolioredefined.wordpress.com. Thank you.